You asked for it. So here we are. We got the first game of the season. We got Fierce Block versus Matuk. Go ahead and look at Matuk's cards also. Looks like Fierce Block starting with the Mage. And maybe Matuk is going with what could be a mid-range hunter, but I'm not sure. Thinking mid-range, I'm looking at the cards, they don't look face. Drops out with a token web spinner. So do we clear the web spinner or we put snow chugger? Looks like Fierce Block is going snow chugger. Maybe the lock up anything else that's going to come in, but we might see quick shot clearing snow chugger so you can make way for an eagle horn. No, we're going to see one of the new cards. King's Elect. Or maybe King's Dolek was where they were coming. Oh, and he gets he gets the, the Lotheb draw. Oh, and we're starting to see a little bit back and forth between the two guys. Effigy, great card. We also got Duke. Duke would probably be a... A decent idea if you want to have a bunch of snow chuggers to lock up the the hunter's weapons mm. and you can also get two for one value with your snow chugger in theory what does fierce block do he's going to burn it down burn it down and just clear would be his strategy a lot of cards coming to, to Matuk's hand. And if I'm saying Matuk wrong, Matuk, just leave me a comment and say, Bro, you failed me. <laughs> to my side. It's got Animal Companion coming down. It is, of course, Misha. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit just to make sure commentary comes in smooth. So now what does Fierce Block do? A dupe? A dupe for nothing? Huh. Maybe just to get Mat Matuk thinking a little bit, not knowing what he wants to do. So we see Fierce Block take the four. Matuk with his... his value up there still for mana still looking good effigy the only thing on the board is just keep resource in hand and go hero power that's what it looks like so far ooh a guardian Ooh, interesting, interesting. Might see a clear right here. And we see the clear. Very good play. Very good play by Fierce Block. I wonder if it's not Matuk, if it's pronounced a little bit different. Being Canadian, I know Guy Hebert, from a hockey standpoint, was always funny to me because it was Guy Herbert from American. Oh man, like the Stealth Panther, I get it, but at the same time, you wonder if you don't clear, if you don't clear this uh, Flame Walker, a spell might get rid of your stealth. Can he Effigy? He already has an Effigy. No, he has Dupe, so yeah, eff Effigy might, I mean Effigy would clear it, but he elects not to go that direction. I'm gonna put down... What's this called again? All the new cards I'm still learning. Twilight Guardian, because he had the Azor Drake value. So not a not a bad deal. So he so Matus needs, needs to do two out of hand with his 4-2. In which he has out of hand. Okay, he's got lock and load, which is gonna give him some value if he can ah, I forget lock and load what it does each time he casts a spell. Okay, so he's got that with value. He could lock and load. Uh, coin, quick shot. I mean, he can do a lot to fill his hand. But 
wisely, he goes Houndmaster, I think, to make the clear. He's going to get, what, 6-4? Yeah. So he'll make the clear with that. And he still has in his hand where he can gain back a lot of cards through card draw. And we'll see Effigy play. Dupe and Effigy. So we're going to see a lot. Wait, we didn't see Effigy. I'm crazy. It's in his hand still. That's what happens when Daddy drinks a little margarita tonight. So we might see Effig Effigy for the clear. Oh, wow. He can clear. So he's got Effigy. Very good trade, very good trade. Or not trade, but very good uh, going to face, looking for the trade. So you want to get rid of the 2-4, so you kind of figure that's where your trade's going to be. I'm just wondering when the combo from a Tuke's going to come with lock and load. It's going to be interesting. I've, I haven't seen yet. A hunter. All I see is face hunter and ladder play. So I haven't got to see some of the the better mid range or control hunters that are out there. Mm -hmm. I'm liking fierce blocks mage though. It's very interesting. We'll see what effigy gives. Ooh, you know you want to get rid of that. That's gonna ping you for four each time. So we might see Twilight, Guardian, or we might see Boom. I wonder if Fierce Block worries at all about Unleash the Hounds. Because if you Boom it, then you know you got so many targets for that Hounds value. Ooh, we see it though anyway. Hounds value, but no Hounds. See Fierce Block just going for, for her face. Maybe a good idea if you get double fireballs and you're only uh, six hit points away from uh, from that. We might see the lock and load combo come into play. If so, a cool animation. This is one of my favorites I saw in the uh, the brawl preview. Here we are. Ooh, wow, getting snakes back. That's a good card to get back, definitely. What else? Oh, man, you can't beat having Hunter's Mark drop into your hand. Also very good. What else? Snipe. Snipe's not bad either. So he got two secrets and Hunter's Mark. All very good. Oh, and then Hunter... Will that... Cycle? It does cycle. How about that? So it cycles and he gets misdirection. Also solid. So a solid card there with lock and load. I haven't seen lock and load played yet, so that was very cool. A tutorial right there on how to play that card. So what's he looking at? He's got snake trap. I wonder, everyone thinks frost trap's the idea. So the best thing the frost trap would probably be his 3-1. Which you wonder if he... Hunter's marked it. Here's Block looking. Okay, so he sees he has free passage to the Hunter. That should give him the tip that that's going to be uh, Snakes. But Snakes sometimes is the long lost thing and you don't think about it. You're like, I don't know what that is if it didn't go off. A lot of people think, forget about Snakes. So you may be thinking about uh, Ooh, man. Nice, nice. So a Hounds would be interesting. We don't see Hounds drop. We do see a lot. Misdirection. Steam Weedle. Got a uh, Eagle Horn Bow. There's a lot that can be done. 
but it does look pretty good for fierce block at this point especially with fireball in hand you're gonna get him down to six so you're pretty much gonna respond to what happens on this play and you can pump your fireball up with Zord Drake. This is a good matchup, Mage, these two decks. I think if you played them ten times, they'd go five versus five. They're just down the middle. Oh, Misha coming in for the save. In this direction, it's going to keep the damage. Steam Weedle to clear. So here we go. So, okay, it's not misdirection, right? Because misdirection is still in his hand. Oh, it's snake trap still. Snake trap will definitely go off and will definitely cause some havoc. Hmm. This is one of those moments where you're just like, man. But then you're going to learn the trap, and then you figure out what you can do. Will a snake absorb the bomb? Oh, they're going to do all the daggers first. Oh, one snake absorbs. So if he can clear, he could actually, he has lethal. If he uses the bomb and uses his hero power, then he has lethal. So that's it. It is first game fierce block good game played between the two